want to say a big thank you to our, our warm-up act. That was Lindsey Van Kirk and Adam Rehachek, and they are always like that. <laughs> so we've got a big day today. This is our fifth ever App Nexus Summit here in New York. And I thought it would be interesting to go back four years to our very first summit and look at just how far we've come. If you look at this industry in 2010, it's kind of hard to imagine just how far we've come. We were looking back at August of 2010, so just over four years ago, before our first summit, and we started pulling together some fun facts. This is a picture of AppNexus. This was our office. We had 50 employees at that time. Um, it was actually very cramped. We had just added Michael Rubenstein to the company, you know, world-class executive coming to us from Google. Um, our entire revenue for advertising in 2010 was about $1.6 million. Uh, if it gives you any context for just how crazy it was. And of course, my beautiful daughter, Anjali, was just about to turn one. So I was not sleeping, and still I'm not sleeping, uh, but for entirely different reasons. So this was the beginning. We were all at a very different place. And the industry as a whole was still below a billion dollars in overall spend. So all of a sudden, in, I think it was October, AppNexus announced a $50 million fundraising round led by Microsoft. And this was an absolutely game-changing moment, not just for us at AppNexus, but I think for the whole industry, for all of us. How many of you were here at our first AppNexus Summit in New York four years ago? OK, some old timers. That's great. How many of you used AppNexus before that first summit? How many of you were AppNexus customers in 2010? A good share. All of you were early adopters. All of you believed in this crazy idea that I had for AppNexus before anybody else did. What Microsoft did by investing $50 million in AppNexus was to really validate that while my ideas may have been completely crazy, um, the biggest players in this space were going to stand behind them. And they validated, validated not just me and AppNexus, but this entire space. Microsoft was the first major publisher to really go all in behind RTB. It wasn't just an investment. They put all of their inventory onto the AppNexus platform and, in effect, into the RTB ecosystem. And that was a big day. So when we walked into the AppNexus Summit four Novembers ago, it was a, an incredible time. For those of you who were here, the energy was palpable. Everyone was asking the same question. Just what is an AppNexus? And, you know, I did my best to answer. So can we roll that clip of, of me trying to explain it? So AppNexus, in a very short sentence, is a real-time ad platform. AppNexus is the roots behind a lot of this picture. We provide the plumbing, the infrastructure that makes this picture possible. So that was then. And I think the, the good news is, at least for me, is that I still believe that AppNexus is trying to be the, the plumbing, the pipes, um, the roots underneath everything, everything this industry can accomplish. But if you look forward four years to where we are today, I believe we are at a similar inflection point. From the moment we raised that money from Microsoft, not only did AppNexus go exponential, this whole industry went exponential. All of your businesses went crazy. We've had an amazing four years. And so today, we could all be celebrating. I talked to one of our investors yesterday, and he said, why don't you just smile and enjoy it? And I said, that's just not in my nature. I've forgotten how to enjoy it. There's so much to do. He's like, ah, oh, you know, fine. Make us some more money. Um, so if you look at us today, I suspect many of your businesses look the same as ours. We've gone from that little office on 18th Street to two floors of this massive Home Depot building down on 23rd Street. If you happened to be at our offices yesterday for our client advisory board, you felt the incredible energy of you know, almost 500 Apnexians and 150 of our clients uh, doing an office crawl, which is exactly what you think. It's a bunch of people going around our office and drinking um, and meeting each other. And I think we had donuts, so there was definitely some food. Um, but it's the incredible growth of, of not just us, but of you, that makes 2014 so exciting. And if you look at this, we've also added a world-class executive to our team. So just like then, um, this time it's John Sue, who will be out here soon. Um, my daughter is now five and um, obsessed with Elsa, as you can see. 
And no, she does not ride the subway by herself. Um, and this year, we'll do something like $192 million of, of ad revenue, so up from that 1.6 figure just four years ago. Our industry as a whole is now about $5 billion of spend, depending on which numbers you look at. We actually beat the projections. This is one of the few cases where eMarketer and IDC and all of those folks were wrong. They thought it was going to be smaller than it actually was, um, which screws up every person who pitched any investor on the industry size, including me. Um, so we walk into our summit today. If you think about where we were just a few months ago, you know, if you said, who are the leaders in this space, you would have come up with a list of a number of companies. And I hope that AppNexus would have been on your list. But much like in 2010, I think everyone's walking in today going, one, just what is an AppNexus? So we're still working on that. But two, you're saying, wow, AppNexus just raised a huge amount of money, $110 million in our Series E. And moreover, we've gotten a major strategic company, one of the most important companies in the space in WPP, not just to invest, to bet their business on AppNexus. And there's a lot of parallels to where we were in 2010. So I feel very privileged to be standing, you, standing in front of you today to say not just has AppNexus received this incredible validation, but our entire ecosystem has. What I love about the partnership we have with Microsoft, the partnership we have with WPP, the partnership we have with many of you, is that this isn't an exclusive relationship. You're not part of a, a walled garden that AppNexus built. You're part of an open platform that really allows all of our major partners to work with each of your businesses. In fact, we see a huge amount of transaction volume going between our partners that many of the folks out there in the broader ecosystem don't even see. If you look at us from the outside, we're much smaller than we are from the inside. More than half of our transaction volume never leaves the platform. And so this is why, if you look forward to 2015, at this momentous time where AppNexus continues to define the future of this space with an ecosystem, an open future, and you look at the purchase of Open AdStream that we just completed last Friday, where not only did we welcome 124 new AppNexians, but we also announced our plans to extend into a full stack solution that, let's be honest, is going to compete with Google and DoubleClick, that we see an entirely new industry landscape emerging in 2015. It's not going to be the Lumascape. In fact, I don't think anyone's really cared about the Lumascape since 2010. I don't know what it's going to be called. Maybe one of you will have the initiative to go build the you know, 2015 uh, eye chart. But I think what we're going to see is that a handful of ecosystems are going to compete. Is it going to be a big open ecosystem where we can all play? Or will it be a closed ecosystem where one company captures all the value and potentially captures all the profits as we see in search? There's a fundamental rule of the internet. It's always been true, and it's this. Open beats closed. I believe together, with the world-class people we have in this room, with all the people we have back in our offices, with the world-class products and innovations we've built, that we together can make sure that open beats closed. And so with that, I want to welcome you to the summit, because today, we're going to talk about how far we've come and how far we have to go. And we're going to talk, I think we have great speakers throughout the day. We're going to cram about two full days worth of content into the next three hours. I know you're all busy. And I really want to highlight how privileged I feel to be here with all of you over this four-year journey that's gotten us all to where we are today. So thank you. Mm -hmm.